Emerging research in small groups of elderly subjects have found that a slower gait, we're talking about the way you walk, from year to year may be an early sign of cognitive decline. Dr. Salim Sarani joins us live to discuss. Dr. Sarani, first and foremost, it's been a, a while since we've seen you. We hope you're doing well. Congratulations to your youngest daughter who just graduated from Harvard. And uh, let's get right to it. Uh, this is something where I can relate. My father, who has Parkinson's, uh, has a tendency to drag his feet. And the doctors have told him that that is a sign of some cognitive decline that's in his, uh, in, in his future. He's already experiencing some of that. What is it about the way you walk and its connections to the brain? Good morning, John Thomas. Glad to be here. Uh, thank you for a uh, message for the congratulation for my daughter's graduation and prayers for the uh, tragic uh, case and family in the community. Uh, you know, we have seen whenever the people are elderly, they walk very slowly, but we never made a connection that walking slowly may be connected to uh, what we call is a dementia. And what does the study look into is they look into the Americans and Canadian and they follow them for seven years and they looked at it a couple of times a year and see how they walk. and. We know that when we get elderly, we walk slowly, and the purpose is that, you know, your coordination may not be good, and uh, you don't want to fall down, so sometimes you walk slowly, you get a cane or a support. What they found was that those people who are walking slowly, one of the portion of the brain in the side region, what we call a hippocampus, it actually started shrinking. The people who had a, a small hippocampus, they were walking slowly, and what they found was 20% of the people had a cognitive impairment. Uh, and uh, they uh, end up in developing what we call as a dementia. So what they found is that if you walk slowly and you have a cognitive impairment, that increases the chance of having a dementia significantly. So one of the things is that uh, sometimes we don't know whether the apple came in first or the uh, uh, chicken came in first or the egg came in first. Uh, whether we were walking slowly, that lead to the hippocampus shrinking or the hippocampus shrink and we were walking slowly. But what we found was that there are certain things, uh, if we do it in the early part of the life and even in the latter part, uh, that make the hippocampus bigger. And that is kind of aerobic exercises, whether you're doing swimming, biking, elliptical, treadmill, those all help you to have a bigger hippocampus and a better gait. Okay, Dr. Sarani, we appreciate it. You're going to be up next uh, in the next half hour with Barbie discussing monkeypox, uh, something that has uh, started to grow across the nation. We'll learn more about that. If you have a question for Dr. Sarani, send us a text at 361-855-6397.